Welcome to Micro Lectures. A little bit of a different dynamic tonight. We are uh, joined by The Corner has emerged. I see you got dressed up for your debut as a co-host. <laughs> well, I put on some shoes. <laughs> You're going to be lecturing tonight, Nancy. I plan to. I brought the, I brought the bananas. <laughs> You're looking around. You yeah, were attacked. Yeah. Everything's all shoes got. I'm here. Everybody's <laughs> a little on edge. She, keeps she can't on. find she anywhere to put her drink. <laughs> Did a lot of research on what, uh, what you're going to talk about, and I just want to say that I'm very excited about your topic. Tell us a really? little bit about it. I'm going to talk about the, the right way to peel a banana, and, and, it, and it kind of is in line with my last lecture that I did. So I assume down. the way I peel a banana is not the right way. I just grab it and squeeze the shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> is your lecture, will it, will it change our lines? Because when, when, you, think of, when <laughs> you think about the banana, the fact that it's easily bruised, it's nutritional value, all that stuff, and more in your lecture, I'm guessing. Well, no, I wasn't going to go into that, but... <laughs> I wasn't going to go into any of that. The question is... Oh, all that's fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> that was my fucking lecture. No, this is for people that have, you know, eat bananas all the time. Mm. And uh, I personally like to have at least one banana a day. You like to have one banana a day? And sometimes a banana is just a banana. Welcome to Micro Lectures. Tonight I'm going to be talking about the proper way to peel a banana. As I said, tonight I'm going to be lecturing on the proper way to peel a banana. Most people peel a banana from this side, right? Most of you would do that. But if anybody in the audience has watched a monkey peel a banana, you might notice that they peel it this way. Well, if you peel it this way, You'll find that you won't get all those strings. The human beings do everything backwards and upside down. Humans are confused creatures. Animals are not confused. They're natural. They do everything exactly the way they were intended. They don't question it. If you peel a banana like a human, as most of you would, you would peel it like this. And this is not an example of why you shouldn't peel a banana that way, because normally you would get a lot of strings, but this looks very clean. If you are a monkey, you would peel it this way. And the point is supposed to be that you wouldn't get the strings. <laughs> <laughs> so my point is clearly a very bad point. The question being, which is the right way to peel a banana? And I'm not here to prove my point so much as to learn. And I just learned that my point was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this banana has strings. Which banana would you rather eat? This or this? <laughs> wow, what a lecture. <laughs> yeah. I was actually quite a surprise. Well, isn't that what science is all about? Huh? You call this science? Uh, well, <laughs> I, mean, I call it comedy. It was about the banana. I was, I was uh, going to prove a point, and the point was not proven. The point was disproven by the banana. It was a delicious <laughs> banana. I ate it from both ends. And I don't think there's any limit to your banana intake. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that. Oh. If you think you know something and you're going to say it and you're going to express it and you're going to try to convince other people of it, you Which should. is the essence of lecturing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that is. There's Tell a really good chance that what you have to say is absolute bullshit. Exactly. <laughs>